Hello and welcome to Euphoria TV Late Breaking News. My name is Dr. David Bull. I'm a medical journalist and I'm delighted to be your host for this very first show. Now, over the next few minutes, we'll hear from our experts, Professors Peter Hellings, Klaus Bachart, and Glenis Scadding, about Euphoria's mission, its role in further education, and the exciting events coming up later this year. The European Forum for Research and Education in Allergy and Airway Diseases, or Euphoria, as it's better known, was founded in 2015 as an international non-profit organisation. So, to tell us more, we're joined live from Brussels by Professor Peter Hellings, who is the founding director of Euphoria. Peter, great to see you. Tell us about Euphoria and what are its aims and aspirations. Up to one third of the total population suffers from asthma, allergic airways disease, and rhinosinusitis. And there is a huge opportunity to implement preventive strategies, to implement better care into this community. And that's why Euphoria has been founded, bringing together all the relevant stakeholders in the respiratory field in a mission that is noble and that is actually driving the field of chronic respiratory uh, diseases further. Okay, well, let's let's break that down then, because you're really targeting both the patients and the clinicians themselves. So let's talk about the patients first. What sort of support do you provide them? Well, we want to empower the patients with the right information about the treatment, the right treatment at the right moment uh, for the right patients. So this is something that has not received significant attention in the past, and there Euphoria has a major role to play. Patient empowerment means informing the patient about the latest guidelines, informing the patient about care pathways and informing the patients about the different treatment options. When a patient is well informed about a chronic condition he or she is suffering from, then he or she can be helped in a better way with better outcomes and also prevention of chronicity of the disease. We've been living through some very strange times and I suppose in many ways COVID-19 has given you added impetus because of course we're moving far more into e-education. What are your comments on that? Well, thank you for raising this challenging question because spring 2020 has been very challenging due to COVID for all stakeholders in the respiratory field. But we do believe that we have entered a new era of physician education, a new era of collaborating with our patients, and also a new era of CME accredited training programs. And the Euphoria expert team has been working on many of these domains, making sure that new training programs, new CME accredited learnings, as well as new uh, virtual uh, patient expert boards and team meetings have been implemented into daily reality, moving the field forward and guaranteeing that Euphoria can achieve his mission and vision also after spring 2020. Well, finally, Peter, perhaps I could ask you, what do you hope we'll achieve through this show, through Late Breaking News? Well, the Late Breaking News channel is just meant to bring to the attention latest developments that are very exciting, that are very innovative, and that may have a major impact in the chronic respiratory field. And therefore, I'm very privileged to be able to work with you, David, and the other first class experts and researchers in the field of euphoria to bring to the attention of the community the late breaking news in the scientific field, in the clinical field, in the patient related field and in the pharmaceutical field. And I do believe uh, that we will all be excited to go into that direction and to share uh, the latest innovation in the field. Well, Peter, it's been wonderful to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks to you, David. Now, as Peter has just said, Euphoria holds a number of exciting masterclass webinars. So joining me now is Professor Klaus Bachart. He is chief of the ENT clinic at the University Hospital of Ghent in Belgium and is also professor at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm in Sweden. It is fantastic to see you, Klaus. Tell us about your webinar. It's two days and it's a very exciting event happening in November. Absolutely. It's the 9th and the 10th of November. And it's a two-hour seminar in the morning and the afternoon for the colleagues in the EU and uh, the US. Clearly, what we want to do is to tell everybody the exciting news um, that are coming or in some countries already available to treat patients with really severe airway disease. And this is upper airways, nasal polyposis, focusing on 
type 2 immune reactions and uh, the lower airways, um, asthma. And as you well know, these diseases are very often linked. So it really makes sense to combine the upper and lower airways. So in terms of the, the content that you'll be sharing, you know, this is groundbreaking stuff that will really affect people's clinical practice. Oh, absolutely. Um, and there's the, the chance and the difficulty. The difficulty <laughs> is, of course, people have to learn. And if you look at, at ENT uh, colleagues, um, immunology is not really where they spend a lot of time with in former days. They know something about eosinophils and then know a little bit about IgE, but there is so much more to discover. The whole area which is unfolding now, which involves immunology and is translated into a new therapy which really benefits uh, the physicians and the uh, patients in this disease. Which of course is the ultimate aim of, of these webinars themselves. And actually, we were talking earlier about the COVID-19 crisis. It's really pushing people into online education. And in many ways, that, that's, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I, I really like to meet colleagues from time to time in person. Uh, but nowadays you couldn't even shake hands. Uh, but of course, yes, uh, it is great that we have these virtual possibilities and, you know, we can compensate for other things that would really be lost. And that way it's not lost. It goes on. And there is a new culture developing, actually, which is exciting. Yes, it is very exciting indeed. It sounds like a wonderful masterclass on the 9th and 10th of November. Uh, I wish you the very best of luck with it. Thank you very much indeed, Professor Bachard. Thank you so much. Well, September also sees another three-day masterclass. To tell us more is Dr. Glenis Scadding. Now, Glenis is Honorary Consultant Physician in Allergy and Rhinology at the Royal National TNE Hospital in London and also Honorary Senior Lecturer in Clinical Immunology at UCL School of Medicine, also in London. So, Professor Scadding, it sounds like a great masterclass and very comprehensive. It is. It runs for three days virtually with an hour each day, which you can do in the morning or the evening or both if wished. It starts with why rhinitis matters, how to make the diagnosis, when to refer patients elsewhere. And then it uses the Euphoria Pocket Guide and there's a useful algorithm there for treating. Starting with simple treatments, knowing what to do if those don't work, when to refer on patients to a surgeon or to an allergist, and then also the patients who are likely to benefit from allergen-specific immunotherapy, which is also an included lecture. So tell me, what level of clinician would this benefit? Is it across the board? I think it would benefit almost anyone who sees rhinitis patients. And because a quarter of the population is affected, they appear in many different clinics. They appear in primary care, so this would suit a primary care practitioner. They occur in many hospital clinics, not only ENT and allergy, but also in pediatrics and respiratory medicine. And this course would be suitable for all those people. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed, Professor Scadding. Thank you. Well, there you have it. We've had a great overview of what Euphoria is all about, and we've heard details of those two masterclass webinars running in September and November. You can find more information and register for those meetings on the euphoria.eu website, where you can also sign up to receive the latest news via email. And also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. The address is at Euphoria. That is it for the moment. See you soon and thanks for watching.